Whoa, boys, we getting some Dark World support in 2017. I also want to touch up upon a few things that I wanted to go over with the Yu Gi Oh! communities. But first off, we got a new Dark World card. Let's go ahead and check it out. So it's a new continuous trap card called Dark World Brainwashing. So it's a continuous trap card. When an opponent's monster effect is activated, if you have three or more cards in your hand, you can target one Dark World monster on the field, return to the hand. If you do, that opponent's monster effect becomes your opponent randomly discards one card. Wow, that's actually a pretty decent little effect. I wish it was like a Dark World card so you can do a little bit more plays uh, just in case you don't have a monster on board. But that's still a pretty decent uh, effect because if you discard, you know, the monster, then you're going to get that extra bonus effect of that monster. So that's a pretty good card and it's just one card that we're getting and a lot of people are really stoked uh, to play Dark World. So maybe guys, it's a good time to pick up some Dark Worlds just in case they release something really crazy good. Uh, then all the uh, cards will obviously go up in price. But... Also, I wanted to talk a little bit about certain things that were going around in the Yu-Gi-Oh! community. Get your guys' opinions, because this is some pretty big stuff. So, first off, Julia Hedberg, pretty important person if you guys are interested in the competitive scene of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a long post, but I really wanted to just touch up upon what I highlighted over here. So, it says... Uh, it's basically the people that are complaining about during the live streams that people are cheating in the game. People have cheated in the game multiple t multiple times uh, during live streams and even before live streams. But uh, all it really comes down to is this statement right here. The judge is not monitoring the match to make sure every play is legal. That remains the responsibility of the players like every other match. So all it really comes down to is she's like, you guys are complaining. I can't do too much about the players bitching about the bad job the live stream judges are doing. I feel like if you're commentating on the match and you see something that is illegal, you should be able to catch it. That should be something that would be, uh, you know, in the prerequisite of being a caster. Maybe have one caster that's super energetic, really high energy, uh, doesn't really know the game. I'd be an excellent example for that. But <clears throat> have one guy that's actually uh, really good at catching misplays, illegal plays. I think... That's the way I see it, though. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, it is definitely the responsibility of the people playing the game, but sometimes you get caught up in certain things. Uh, a lot of people also said, why don't we just play on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro? Uh, guys, this would hurt the sales of the game. Konami can't really do that. It would be an excellent idea to have everything automated via a video game when you go to these YCS and stuff, but that would hurt the sales of the card game. Uh, that could be it for another video. I'll explain why they're not going to make a official card game. Uh, there's a, a huge Illuminati theory behind that. And again, that all comes down to, uh, first off, it's not an official Yu-Gi-Oh! game. On top of that, again, it would hurt sales because if people aren't taking their decks, they're not going to be buying the decks. Therefore, yeah, exactly. Uh, you guys get the picture. But uh, I want to know how you guys feel about that. Do you guys feel like it's the responsibility of the judges? Because I feel like if you're a judge, like that, that kind of should be your job. And that's the way I see it, though. Uh, but, uh, you know, things happen, and ultimately, they're saying it's the player's responsibilities. But... Another thing I want to touch up upon that the Yu Yu community is like really upset about. So there's this whole Pendulum Evolution uh, booster set that's coming out, and a lot of people are really upset about this because it was supposed to be a structured deck that you're supposed to buy, you know, three copies of. You spend thirty dollars, throw in some extra deck cards that you guys already have laying around, and then you'd have like a deck. Well, uh, it's instead going to be a set. So this means obviously there's going to be cards that are secret rare, which means that you won't get. Uh, you know that many copies of in a box therefore you're gonna have to spend you know a hundred plus maybe dollars depending on you know what becomes secret rare and how much uh, certain cards cost in the set but uh nonetheless people are really upset about this and they're like konami this is so scumbag of you to do they're, they're saying like it's a whole metal gear zombie scenario cash grab uh i'll let you guys decide how you feel about that personally the way i see it though is most competitive players as of right now are not really interested in picking up pendulum stuff if you're worried about you know being competitive and also trying to save money because once the link summon mechanic comes out pendulums for the most part are pretty much going to be at a halt unless we get some extra crazy support to really make pendulums good they're not going to be too strong going into the future because of the whole new you can't special summon a bunch of cards unless of course you have the whole link zone set up for you uh, but it's not looking too good for pendulums not only if you are a player playing the game because you're obviously going to lose out on uh, a lot of advantage that you'd have but uh, also because uh, you know it's going to be a lot more pricier to uh, play this but Yu-Gi-Oh is an expensive card game and uh, if you can't play I can always suggest you guys to just play online because it's much cheaper to do so uh, but uh, 
Nonetheless, you guys can tell me how you feel about any things that we talked about. Are you excited about the Dark Worlds? Uh, and what do you guys feel about what Julia Hedberg said? You know, again, uh, I, I feel like it really should be, you know, in a state where we have an official game. But uh, again, I'll get into a video specifically on this topic because it's been a question. Like, why can't we have a good Yu-Gi-Oh game for the competitive scene? And I'll, I, I want to say a lot of it does come down to the business model that they have. But uh, pretty cool stuff that we're getting some Dark World support. We'll probably get some more, but... Uh, you guys let me know if uh, you guys are interested in uh, picking up some Dark World stuff or any of the things we talked about down below. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'm signing out.